All right, in this video, I'm going to explain how the pronunciation system with pictures work. All right, the English language has 15 vowel sounds, but in this course, you'll be learning only two vowel sounds. The long E and the short E. The representation of the pronunciation system with picture is like this. Students must learn to relate a picture with some spelling patterns. They must establish a connection between the picture and the spelling patterns. If students um, get to establish that connection, then their pronunciation is going to improve. How to do that? Over here, I'm going to play the sound of this picture. Green tea. This is the sound of this picture. Green tea. Which means that mm, these patterns are going to be pronounced like e. e. So I think with this visual representation of the picture of 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 a sound, it's going to be easier for um, the learners to remember the sound of a particular um, vowel of the English. This system has three elements right but before going to those elements um, I have divided this this uh, this system into skills because every vowel is a skill so students um, are going to be able to pronounce words containing the green T E picture sound correctly so they have the visual representation of the of, of the sound they have three indicators which is or which are green t e so these three um, indicators are describing this picture or the sound of the e in english Students must learn the following, these three elements, the picture, the connection, and the spelling patterns that represent the picture. All right, how this, uh, this system works. For example, I'm going to go all the way down here. Uh, in order to put in practice the connection between the picture and the pattern, the students must do the following. First, they have to pronounce the picture with its three indicators, green, T, E, and then they should pronounce the words, read, see, please, steam. Let's say that um, one student pronounced the picture correctly, green, T, E, but when he or she started pronouncing the word, uh, the student pronounced the words like red, green, T, E, red. So immediately the system or uh, in the, uh, tells us that there's no connection between the picture and the word or the patterns. So in order to establish that connection, the sound of the last vowel over here, the last indicator, should be the same as the pronunciation of the different patterns. Green, T, E, read. So the connection 
is established here. So this requires practice, but um, with, with a picture at least or a brain is able to remember. The thing is that the phonetic alphabet does not provide um, with so much visual representation of the sound. It's just a symbol that is sometimes, sometimes alien to some student that is pretty unknown or pretty weird uh, for students to remember. So, but with the picture, it's way better to remember the sound of a particular vowel uh, of the English language. Over here, I'm gonna be um, teaching only the sound of two vowels, which is the sound of the uh, green T E and the sound of the silver pin E. So this is just the introduction of how the system works because um, if we don't know or if students don't know um, how the system works then they won't be able to establish that connection. Um, it is required that the learners um, get uh, familiarized with the spelling patterns that represent the two sounds that I'm going to be discussing in this course, which, which are the sound of this um, green T E and the silver pin there. Right? 